What is good, my camera crew? We are back here with another tutorial. If you guys are not yet a part of the camera crew, make sure you subscribe and become a part. However, uh, this will be a real short and sweet tutorial. There's going to be no camera on me. It's just going to be a screen recording of some simple keyframe animations. It's come to my attention that not everyone knows how to do this effectively so we are going to change that today so okay first thing you want to do as you can see I have my clips and my logo you can do these keyframe animations with different video clips pictures logos shapes you know, literally anything that you uh, could imagine so I just have the DaVinci logo and I have it on this shot that I got from Storyblocks which this is not sponsored by Storyblocks but if you need stock footage they're not a bad place to check out. First things first is we want to click on our logo animation and I want it to drop in from the top left, come down, maybe go up, down, up, down, and then out. So we are going to, let's make it a little bit smaller. And if you guys don't have your inspector tab open here on the right, all you got to do is hit inspector and it'll come on up here. So you can animate with keyframes with any of these controls right here, down here with cropping, and pretty much anything in the inspector tab can be animated with keyframes. So to get started with this is you want to start at wherever you want this animation to start. And we're going to start at the beginning of our clips. And if we wanted to animate everything, a real quick way to do that would be hitting this diamond on the top. That's going to just hit everything here on the transform area. If we want to reset it, all of them, we can hit this little backwards arrow. But if we wanted to do everything, we could just, you know, individually, we could hit them individually. Now let's bring the scale back down. And we're only going to animate the position. And you know what? Maybe we'll animate the rotation as well. Let's see. Okay. So we're good there. We can reset it, re-keyframe it. And let's start moving this to where we want to move it. And to move, you can just click on it and drag left or right. Or you could type in a numerical value. However, I just usually click on it, drag it, and if you hold Control or Command, it will fine tune it a little bit more. So that's how you kind of get some fine tune adjustments. All right, so we are going to now bring this up to the top. We're going to have it come out of frame. Here we go, just like that. So we're going to come over a few frames. It's about right here. And we're going to bring it down in the Y axis and Y axis is going to be up and down and the X axis is going to be left and right. So we're going to bring it down in the Y axis and we're going to then come over a few more frames and we're going to bring it over in the left axis, bring it over a few more frames, bring it up in the Y, bring it over in the X few more frames we're going to bring it down in the Y and we're going to bring it to the right in the X and we're going to come over and we're just going to keep animating this how we want it like it put into the positions we want and as we make every single one of these adjustments a keyframe will be made and you can go back and forth between your keyframes with these little arrows and that will bring you to each individual keyframe if you don't like where one is you can just hit that keyframe and it will get rid of it however we like that there so command z to bring it back all right so now that we are at our last keyframe here let's go down a few more frames we're going to bring the y down now we can watch it back it's just going to simply animate to the keyframe position that we used and right now it's pretty linear it just like hits and goes it comes and goes there's no like easing in or easing out and it doesn't like smoothly come in so an easy way to do this is if you hit this little keyframe a uh, little diamond at the base of your clip you're going to see all of your keyframes here so what you can do is click them and right click and push ease in right click this one we want to ease in and ease out same with this one same with this one and you could highlight all of these at once 
I like to go in and just do them individually. That's how I prefer to do things. But you can, if you hold command, you can click and do multiples at once. But that's really not how I like to do it. And another really cool thing with this, you can drag and maneuver these keyframes wherever you would like to do put them. So let's say you're like, oh, it's not moving fast enough or it's moving too fast. We can space these out however we would like and make it even so that they all kind of move at the same pace. And if you notice, it's going to come in real quick and slow down. It's going to ease in, and ease out, making it a very smooth transition between each movement. Just like that. And that is a super simple way to animate keyframes. One other trick that you could do is if you hit this little squiggly line, it's called the spline editor. And this is going to bring up your Y positions. If you hit this little drop down menu right here, you can see everything that is visible. I don't really mess with this too much unless it's with speed ramping. However, this is another way you can drag and you can custom do your uh, curves. I don't really mess with this too much, like I said. I mean, you can really get into diving into like how to really play with these curves and create some really cool animations. So it is something to look into, but uh, it's not something that I really uh, mess around with too much. As you can see, you can get pretty crazy with it. I mean, the more you mess around, the more you're going to get familiar. If you hold like your control or your command, you can move these um, these little arms that will adjust the curve wherever you would like. So you can really like really maneuver these and like if you drag this out, it'll you know, can just do all kinds of really cool stuff. Like I said, I don't mess with this too much unless I'm in the fusion tab. However, it is here in the edit page if you ever want to play with it and we'll see what this looks like. I mean, it gets pretty crazy. I ain't going to lie to you. All right, so that pretty much is basically animating with keyframes in the edit page. It's very simple, and if you don't want the little curves here, you can or the spline editors, you can just hit that, gets rid of it, and hit this little diamond, gets rid of the keyframes. But I always like to have this open because you can manipulate, and like you know, if we drag that really close, it's going to just go super super fast. It's going to shoot down, and it's going to take its time coming back just like that. So. That's a really cool way to animate keyframes in DaVinci Resolve in the edit page. I find that they've made it very convenient and very easy to do. So let me know if this helps you guys out at all. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. And if you haven't watched my last video, make sure you guys go and do so. I am making it a goal to hit 10,000 subscribers in the next six months. So that's in August. I'm doing a huge giveaway. I'm looking at giving away one camera body when it comes to um, the giveaway. If uh, we make it there sooner we might potentially look be looking at two can't guarantee nothing but i will be definitely doing more for uh if we hit that 10k sooner so make sure you guys subscribe become a part of the camera crew i love all of you guys thank you so and gals thank you so much for being a part of what we have going on here it is only going to get better and better and better um next video coming out is going to be uh, how to best make some money or be uh, successful as a creative in 2022. So don't want to, you don't want to miss out on that. So hit that bell notification, smash this like button. I love you guys. I'm going to catch you in the next one.